A message to Hank Green and Michael Buckley. You done good. But I'm going to ask you to do a little more. I'll explain. One week ago today, we saw the voters of North Carolina slam the door hard on same-sex marriage, passing Amendment 1. But not just on same-sex marriage, on civil unions and partnerships, both gay and straight. The following day, both Michael Buckley and Hank Green made powerful videos about the issue. Here's my disappointment, and it's not just with them, it's with myself as well. We were late. Horse was stolen Tuesday, we showed up Wednesday to lock the barn door. W where were we before the votes were cast? Why didn't we put up videos in time to influence the outcome? I feel we dropped the ball. North Carolina, brace yourself. Some of your kids are gay. They won't stop being gay now that you've passed this amendment. All you've done is make their lives as gay kids a little harsher. In some cases, a lot harsher. Oh, and some of your kids, gay and straight, are being raised in households that suddenly don't meet your narrow definition of marriage. You just put them in a bad place and put their families under a shadow. Many opponents of gay marriage are convinced they're doing God's work, and I don't expect we can tell them otherwise. But we can remind them of this. If you want to preach against it, that's your right. But it's not your right to enlist the powers of the government to force your religious beliefs on others. I have two thought experiments for you. First one. A Muslim gets on TV and says the U.S. should outlaw the eating of pork because there are passages in the Quran that forbid it. Now, wouldn't we say to the Muslim community, okay, if your book says don't eat pork, then don't eat pork, but excuse me, I'm having bacon and eggs. Well, not me, because my book also says don't eat pork. But it's obvious the U.S. doesn't make laws from the Quran, and it should be just as obvious we don't make them from the Bible either. Christianity is the most populous religion in the U.S., but it's not the only one, and it's not the official one. We don't have an official religion. Officially, we don't have an official religion. That's in the book we make our laws from, the Constitution. Second thought experiment. A couple goes to their pastor, rabbi, priest, imam, universal life church minister, and they have a wedding ceremony. But they didn't get a license from City Hall. Are they married? No, they're not. Let's switch it. They get the license and go to a justice of the peace, and they don't bother with the church, synagogue, or mosque. Are they married? Yes, they are, completely. Because in our country, religious rules and views on marriage are strictly optional. So if you think God doesn't want gays to marry and you have Bible verses to prove it, I will respect that. But we are not a theocracy, and I'm going to fight your attempt to make us one. We don't follow Sharia law. We don't follow Talmudic law. We don't follow canon law. We follow the Constitution. Hank, Michael, and everyone who cares about this, three requests. One, let's start tracking these gay marriage ballot initiatives. Two, let's speak out before the votes happen. And three, let's make people aware that Mitt Romney has signed a pledge to support an anti-gay marriage amendment to the federal constitution. What just happened in North Carolina is something that Mitt Romney has pledged to support imposing across the entire country, including the six states where gay marriage is now legal. And that includes Connecticut, Michael, where you and your husband live. This time, let's speak out before the vote. It doesn't get better. We have to make it better. Until next time, I'm Nicola.